Hey everybody and welcome back to the Mind Catchers channel. Today we're going to be talking about the Tinted Moisturizer from Laura Mercier as well as the Foundation Primer from Laura Mercier. Both products were gifted to me by Laura Mercier by way of Octoli. So I appreciate them allowing me to review these two products for you guys. I'm going to start off with the Tinted Moisturizer. This one is oil free. It has broad spectrum SPF 20 sunscreen. And um, I believe this one, let me look it up really quickly. It comes in 15 shades and it is $45. It has some great reviews. Not too amazed with the um, range of shades. This is the last one. It's 6W1 Mocha. So this is the darkest shade that they have. Okay, while I'm on the page, I wanted to let you guys know there are three different tinted moisturizers. They're saying that this would be great for normal to oily skin types. The coverage is sheer, so we're not expecting to cover up all of this discoloration all around the mouth and everything like that. So I think for today, what I'm going to do is do half and half of my face one side even under the chin i'm going to do with just this alone and the other side i'm going to do it with concealer and then with the uh, tinted moisturizer we're also going to be using their primer so this is what the primer looks like you see it's a lighter color packaging and they have plenty of primers on the site let me see one is the blemishless primer hydrating primer i'm guessing that would be great for people with dry skin the radiance primer radiance bronze the foundation primer which is oil free broad spectrum spf 30 primer the regular primer that's the one i have and that's 38. so enough boring you with that if my face is clean the only thing i've done today is my brows so I'm going to start off on this side of my face. Actually, I could apply primer on both sides of my face. So let's do that. My hands are clean. The primer comes out like that. It's almost like a pinkish hue to it. It has a very pleasant scent. It feels very much like a lotion and it absorbs into the skin very quickly okay so we're gonna work on this side of the face first you see the discoloration and stuff like that going on like i said we don't expect full full coverage they've already said that it's sheer all right so this side i'm just going to do it with the tinted moisturizer nothing else no correction And on top of the foundation primer, it does apply very smoothly. There's no tugging anywhere. It's very smooth. And it feels very moisturizing. Let me pin my hair up a little better. I would definitely say people that are darker than me, you are gonna have to let this one go because it's going into my skin. It's a little lighter than me, but it is going into my skin okay. <laughs> it's not a perfect match or anything like that but it's almost like I feel like I could get away with it but if you're darker than me then you will run into some problems I'm quite sure it possibly would look ashy on top of your skin now in my opinion for this to say lightweight and you know you're not really getting much coverage I kind of like this it feels like I said very very good it feels like silk on your fingers. It's very creamy, very smooth. Your skin looks very hydrated, moisturized and everything. They do say that you can set this with their powder, their translucent powder. I don't have theirs, but I do have Lancome's translucent powder. So I'm going to definitely set it with that. If you are oily, definitely set this. Don't just walk out of the front door like this. Even though this is oil free, you still want to set this because it to me it does have a luminous look even though it's not the luminous primer and it's not uh, a luminous mo tinted moisturizer my skin does look like it has somewhat of a glow i can feel that it's being absorbed into the skin it, my skin feels very soft okay so that's one side 
and here's the other side okay I'm gonna use the shade chestnut which is not perfect perfect my shade but it'll do um, on this side just to cover some of this discoloration a little bit around my mouth my cheeks mm, I don't really have much on my forehead applying the moisturizer now the tinted moisturizer a little tacky applying it over the concealer but I'm not like really pressing I'm really trying to blend softly because I don't want it to look too harsh anywhere I want it to look seamless and I could say a little bit does go a long way with this can you tell the difference between the side with the concealer and the side that does not have any concealer i will say it looks a little bit more matte on this side this side looks a little bit more glowy so this is my first impressions of it i'm going to get my translucent powder now this is a translucent powder with color okay this is shade 500 i'm going to use the sponge that they give you inside all right guys so you see that very very lightly applied it could i go out and about with this look yes i could this is beautiful i think it's very very nice it's not overdone i'm going to take my phone outside see if i can get um a little bit of video and natural sunlight so you can see what it looks like because i'm behind you know uh the ring light and the soft box and everything so we want to see what it looks like outside i'm also going to spray my face with the milani make it last this is a setting spray so i'm treating this just like i would any other foundation all right guys i'm out in natural sunlight this is the side with just the primer and the tinted moisturizer and this is the side with the concealer I think it looks very, very natural, very pretty on both sides. So you saw me outside, you saw what it looks like. It looks like healthy skin. They did a very good job. I, I can't lie. It's a beautiful, beautiful uh, primer. I like it. And the uh, tinted moisturizer is beautiful. Now, will it last? Um, you know longer than a few hours or so i'm not really sure this is my first time uh using it so i will come back in a future video and let you guys know so give it a try i will talk to you guys in another video i hope this was helpful if it was give me a thumbs up and remember to subscribe come on over to patreon too we would love to have you cyber kisses bye